Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm just going to be chatting with you guys. As you guys can see, it's not a vlog. I'm sitting down, so it's gonna be a chatty video. For today's video, I'm actually going to be sharing with you my journey to motherhood. I feel like I might have talked about bits and pieces of this topic on my channel before, but not all at once, I don't believe. And I also want to make this video because I do have some new subscribers and people watching my channel. So I just want to kind of give you guys a rough or give you guys a full understanding of my journey to motherhood and how I became a mother to two beautiful babies. All right, so first and foremost, hi everyone and welcome. My name is Monica, I am 28 years old. I am a mother of two. I am also a wife and a math teacher. I just like to give that introduction because I feel like people kind of watch my videos throughout um, random videos. Like I do a lot of teacher content and then I do a lot of motherhood content. And so just so people that find my videos kind of know, I always like to introduce myself every so often because sometimes I just kind of start the videos. but. Um, yes, I am 28 years old, I have a 2 year old and a 1 year old, and I am married to my high school sweetheart, we have been together for 10 years, and all this comes into play in today's discussion. So, I'm going to take you guys back a decade to 2013, when I was 18 years old, and um, when I was 18 years old in high school is when I started dating my husband, but obviously he was my boyfriend at the time, and we were both getting ready to start college and we were actually leaving our hometown to go to college and we did go to the same college but because we were leaving home and we were dating my mom wanted me to go and get on birth control just to be safe and to just you know take the precautions to prevent teen pregnancy as much as possible um however when i went to that appointment and the doctor the OBGYN, was checking me he um noticed i had discharge from my breast which was Interesting to know because I just had not paid attention to my body, I guess, in that aspect to know what was going on. But he tested um, the discharge, which if you don't know, it's basically milk coming from my boobs at the age of 18. And he says the only time discharge happens is when you are pregnant or um, you've already had a kid and obviously like you're nursing. And so because I was neither of those, um, he tested the, the milk to figure out what it was and it was linked to a pituitary tumor which is basically a tiny tumor that I have or had in my head that elevates my prolactin levels which are the hormones that you want heightened to get or which are the hormones that are heightened when you are pregnant and so basically since I was 18 and who knows how young actually but since I found out from the age of 18 my body was basically thinking I was pregnant and so my body would um, provide a lot of milk throughout the next few years um, that kind of just created my body to feel like it was already pregnant, which it wasn't. And so this is where things got a little difficult. My body thinking it was already pregnant at the age of 18 made it to where basically um, it was almost impossible for me to even get pregnant because of the heightened hormones that I had. Around the time my son was turning one is when I found out I was pregnant with my daughter. Which was August of 2021 and she was born April 2022. And so once again, since I had gotten pregnant with my son, this time around we were trying. I think around my when my son turned about six months, which would have been in February, was when I began trying for my daughter and at this point my in my mind I'm like okay my husband and I have already graduated college we're um, we now are having our first kid and so in my head like I'm kind of like in the mindset of like if my body's gonna allow me to get pregnant again let's go ahead and have another child and like complete our family as not as fast as possible but like when possible because I honestly don't know what's going on with my head and I kind of just fell off of keeping up with it because when I moved I got off, when I got pregnant with my son I got off of my mom's health insurance and it just kind of was really hard for me to figure out a find a neurologist and doctors here to keep up with what's going on with my tumor so 
since I was able to get pregnant, that was a sign to me that my body had finally regulated my hormones and things were looking good. And so when we got ready to start trying with my daughter in February of 2021, I didn't know how long it was going to take. I didn't know if I could get pregnant. I had no idea. I was just trying and praying. And thankfully, we were able to get pregnant with our daughter. Once again, I found out I was pregnant in August of 2021 and I had my daughter April 2022. And so... Same thing comes around. I think every time my kids get about six months old, that's when my body and my brain tells me, like, I think we're ready to try again because who knows how long it's going to take. And so same thing came around when my daughter turned a little bit after she turned six months. I was ready to start trying. My daughter turned six months in October of last year, which was October 2022. And we didn't start trying until January 2023. And... Here is our announcement that we are actually expecting our third child this year in November of 2023. And so I am currently pregnant and expecting my third child. And so I say all of this not just to announce a pregnancy, but just to show you guys this journey that I've been on and how difficult it has been from the beginning. Even though I was not trying those seven years of not being able to get pregnant, it's just like... You never know what your body's capable of or how things can affect you um, in your future. And so my husband and I are thankful to be able to even be parents because there's so many people that are infertile and so many cases and things that happen to where you just can't end up pregnant. And so we are extremely thankful and blessed. And like I said, in my body and my mind, it's like, if I'm able to get pregnant, let's have our babies, let's create our family and let's be done. And on top of that, something else I've always told myself especially after getting pregnant with my son, was that I want to allow my body in my late 20s to adjust and have kids and fend and like take care of others and nurture others until up until my 30s because I want my 30s to really be me receiving my life back in a sense. Not seeing my kids take my life away, but if you're a new mom or if you're a mom of little toddlers, you know what it's like to kind of, your sleep is um, in jeopardy, your health, your, your mental state, everything is adjusted when you have kids. And so I really want, since I've already been able to start having a family or I, since I've been able to start my family, I really just wanted to kind of like get my kids, like have my kids and deal with all the sleepless nights and all the, the gadgets and the gadgets and the, and the high chairs and the diapers and deal with all of that, all that one chunk in my life instead of like sporadically in my thirties. It just doesn't sound enjoyable for me to be in my 30s trying to thrive in my career but also be pregnant. So I figured since I'm a, I'm a newer teacher, I'm, in my, I'm early in my career, my kids are little, like I'm just soaking it all in and just being thankful and blessed to have this life that I have because honestly some people end up pregnant without even finishing high school or without even finishing college and God's timing was perfect for us and how our whole journey has been has all been perfect because God knew what we needed like I said I got pregnant the last I got pregnant like my last I think it was like the second to last semester of my master's program like I was already done with college I just was getting my credentials and my master's and so the fact that I got to finish that while pregnant and even having a newborn was phenomenal and so I'm so proud of myself and my husband for all the hard work and the dedication we've done for ourselves and just to kind of prepare these footsteps for our kids um, it's been amazing and so with all that being said you guys I am currently 20 almost 20 weeks pregnant on when today's Monday and on Wednesday I will be 20 weeks pregnant but by the time you see this video I will already almost be 22 weeks pregnant so I'm halfway through this pregnancy basically and there's so much going on in my brain like just so thankful so blessed so happy and there's so much I want to share with you guys but I know that this video might get lengthy so I don't know how much I will keep in but I just want to share um, so if you didn't watch some of my earlier videos you wouldn't know that I had a c-section with my son because he was measuring big and so with my daughter I was already expected to be planned for a c-section and that time with my daughter I did have to be put to sleep to have my c-section because of my whole tumor issue the anesthesiologist didn't want to put me didn't want to do an epidural because he was afraid of me hemorrhaging and so this third time around 
I don't know what's going to happen. I know I'm going to have a C-section, but I don't know if I'll, I will be awake or asleep. I would prefer to be awake so that Pedro could be in the room for the first time with our baby being born. But honestly, I'm just going to pray and allow God to take those worries because I don't know. I don't know what's going to be best for me. I don't know if I could actually hemorrhage. I don't really know much because I don't have doctors supporting me through my pregnancies like that and like with my um, head issue or head condition. So I don't know what's going to happen when it comes down to birth, but all I know is like regardless of how I give birth, as long as my kids are here and healthy, then that's all that matters. Um, obviously, as long as I'm healthy too, but I just wanted to add that in. Um, because I don't really want to make a separate video about, like, me needing a C-section or things like that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I feel like this was a lot of information, but it's, like, literally my whole timeline from becoming a mom until this day. And so I just wanted to share that with you guys because I know, once again, there's people that might watch this video that it might help or it might... Um, be informative too and so I'm just sharing my journey with you guys I will show you guys my tummy there's my belly at 19 almost 20 weeks today's Monday so in two days I will be 20 weeks so I'm 19 weeks currently so if you start noticing baby content once again on my channel this is why baby number three is cooking all right, thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.